Hey guys, what's up, Majestic Gaming here, and today I want to talk about Destiny 2, which is something I surprisingly haven't done yet. I don't think I've ever been as mixed on a game as I was with the original Destiny. There were aspects I liked, but a lot of things that really bothered me as well. Up to this point, I've seen Destiny 2 and thought it just looked like Destiny 1, but today I just wanted to talk about everything that's in the new open beta and how it compares to everything in the first game. So first, let's start with the first story mission, Homecoming. So the first story mission in Destiny 2 is titled Homecoming, and we've actually seen it a lot already in different live streams and on different advertisements and things like that, but it was actually really cool getting to play it, and I did think it looked surprisingly cool and epic, and it was a lot different just playing it rather than looking at it through a stream on YouTube. But first off, I want to say the cutscenes, they do look really cool, especially the last one with the new Cabal antagonist who I'll get into in a sec. But all the cutscenes, they looked great, just like in the first Destiny game. Again, I love the aspect of having your custom character in the cutscenes, I think that looks really cool. And just like in the first Destiny, the music and the graphics and the visuals, all that stuff looks great. And that's pretty much some of the best stuff about this game. It's just kind of the music and visuals and how well they look. I did like also that there was a little more variety in mission design. I still don't love the just defend the ghost sections where you just have to defend the ghost when he does whatever hacking stuff he's doing. I didn't love that that was in there, but getting to fight through the towers, it's being overrun, in a location that if you play the first Destiny you were so familiar with, I thought was really cool. The new Cabal group looks fine, the Red Legion I believe is what they're called. I wish they were actually like completely new enemies, this kind of reminds me of what they did with the Taken in the first Destiny when they said they were kind of kind of be a brand new um, weapon or uh, enemy variety and really they were just reskins of the old ones with like a new kind of skin in front of them and they could like teleport and it was just I didn't love that but I do hope that we get some more new variety of enemies in the new one and I'm really excited about that. I do hopefully want to see more from the story, and I know we will, but it definitely is an improvement from the first game, which really isn't saying much because there really wasn't a story in the first game, it was pretty much non-existent. But I did love the first mission, I thought it was really epic, I loved playing through it, and even though I have a lot of problems with the first Destiny, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a ton of fun playing a lot of the story missions, especially the ones in the Taken King when they got a lot better. But Homecoming, even though we've seen it before, I encourage you to go play it if you haven't If you haven't even downloaded the beta. Go play it, I really enjoyed it, and I do really want to see more from it. And I think I am almost sold on kind of the story aspect of this game. I, again, I, like I said, I want to see more, but so far it's definitely an improvement. And the first mission was really enjoyable, except for a few sections of uh, kind of gameplay tropes that we've seen in the first Destiny that I didn't love. But overall, I really enjoyed it. So one of the biggest parts about Destiny is obviously the Guardians, the subclasses, and the different classes, and the different abilities and weapons you get with them. So I'm mainly going to talk about Titans because that is what I play all the time. I've actually never even played with a Hunter or a Warlock, but I'm sure if you're interested in those classes in Destiny 2, then you already know a lot about them, about the new weapons they get, about the new subclasses, about the new abilities, that kind of thing. So I'm sure you already know about that. But the new Titan subclass, in case you don't know, is Sentinel, and you pretty much have a Captain America shield where you can guard with, you can attack, or you can throw it, and I do think it's really cool. Getting to use it, especially in cr the Crucible, which I'll talk about in a sec, and in the first uh, story mission, I thought was really fun. I also like that they didn't completely get rid of the Ward of Dawn, because I used that a lot when we, we used to play Strikes back in the original Destiny. It was obviously really helpful, and even though Defender's gone and we have Sentinel in its place, I am still like the aspect that they still kept the Ward of Dawn there, and I do think that's really cool. They also still have Striker now, which he still has the shoulder charge, with, which I think is really cool. I love using that in Crucible. Even though it seems like now in Crucible, it's not really a one-hit kill anymore, which I guess is fine. Maybe it wasn't the first one, I just seem to remember that. Even though, it's still, I like it, it's still fun. I still like Striker, and I do like Sentinel, and I'm a fan of it. I do think it's cool. So like I said, I like the new abilities. The new weapon slots they have, now instead of the original ones, now we have Kinetic, Energy, and Power. Which are fine, I guess, they didn't really make a huge difference to me. The biggest difference was probably some of the really cool new weapons we get, like the grenade launcher, which is really cool. I really like, enjoyed that. And the fact that now the shotgun is going to be in the power category instead of the energy one, so you have to actually like actively get ammo for in Crucible and stuff. Which I guess makes sense, because a lot of people use shotguns in Crucible in the original game. So that's fine. As a whole, it's a lot of the same for that kind of stuff. I do like that they changed a good amount of stuff, but they kept a lot of stuff also the same. So pretty much, if you played the first Destiny, you'll still be familiar with it. You'll still be familiar with the abilities, and I am a fan of that. Another thing I liked with the Titans is that if you hold B, you can bring up this kind of shield wall, and if you also have the Ward of Dawn, you can 
do both of those at the same time for like double protection. I just thought stuff like that was really cool, and I did think that was a lot of fun to play with, especially in the first Dora mission. So yeah, the general stuff with the Guardians and the new abilities and stuff, I'm a big fan of. I did, I'll be honest, like for years kind of think that oh man it would be cool if we get a new actual class in Destiny 2, and I was kind of disappointed when that didn't happen. Either way, I'm still a fan of the three original ones. They, uh, they've got something good with the three originals, and I am a big fan of the new subclasses they're adding, and we'll probably get even more when later DLCs come out and all that kind of stuff. But as a whole, I am a fan of the new classes and subclasses, and I can't wait to see what other ones they add in later. So in the original Destiny game, I probably didn't touch Crucible for maybe about a year, I don't really know why. It was just something I did, I just wasn't a big fan of it. And then I finally started playing it, and I actually really liked it. So, Crucible in Destiny 2, I was really looking forward to seeing what they added, and that was pretty much the biggest thing that I wanted to see, what they'd added to, what they'd changed, how they'd improved it. Because while the Crucible wasn't perfect in Destiny 1, I still really enjoyed a lot of it, even though a lot of the stuff was just really irritating to me, and it kind of annoyed me. But Either way, there are two modes in the beta for Destiny 2, there will obviously be more when it launches, but the first mode's Control, which is obviously from the first Destiny, it's 4v4, um, all the Crucible modes are now, which I think is, was a good decision, I like that they're making it more kind of an arena combat shooter, that type of thing. But you no longer have to neutralize a point before you capture it in Control now, which is honestly something that I really enjoy because that really irritated me in the first game. But Control is mostly the same, but still pretty fun I guess, I never played a lot of Control, but it's fine and I do like some of the changes they made and they're for the better so control as a whole is still pretty good and I still really enjoyed it. The new mode countdown is the other one you get to play and I actually really enjoyed this a lot and it's probably what I've spent most of my time in the Destiny 2 beta playing so far. It's basically elimination where you can arm bombs and sometimes revive your allies and I just really enjoyed it and I thought it was really fun. I also like the map that you play on in the Destiny 2 beta on Countdown, it just looks really bright, I like the design of it, it just looks really solid, and I don't know why, it just really stood out to me, so see if you think that if you play Countdown in Crucible in Destiny 2, and see what you think about that. So that's about all I have to say for Destiny 2 beta as a whole, there's not a ton in it because obviously it's just the... Uh, Crucible, a strike, which I still haven't really gotten to play, but I know that I have seen gameplay of it, and I know the design of it, and it's still just a Destiny strike, like, they're fun. Um, I never love the strikes, but either way, I am a fan of Destiny 2, I think, so far. Like I said, I like the new stuff they've done with the subclasses, I like the first story mission, and hopefully where they're going with that, and the Crucible was still as fun as it's ever been. So that's like I said, that's all I really have to say. If you didn't love the first game, then I really don't know if this will completely change your mind. I still don't think it will. I'm still not really completely sold on it, and I don't actually know if I'll be picking it up when it comes out. I definitely won't be pre-ordering, um, so if I do decide to get it, I'll just go to the store, or maybe even buy it digitally when it comes out in September. But definitely, if you're at least somewhat interested, download it because it's free, and you might as well try it. That's the whole point of the beta, is just to see if you like it. You don't have to pay it, you mi might as well just play it for free. So tell me what you guys think of the Destiny beta, and uh, if, if you're excited for it. Another thing that really irritated me, um, not necessarily in the beta, but just Destiny 2 as a whole, is that they are doing the year of exclusive PS4 content again, which I know doesn't matter if you have a PS4, but for Xbox users, that really irritates me. Another thing that kind of irritated me, even though it doesn't affect me directly, is that I do believe that the Destiny 2 uh, will be launching later on PC, like a month or two later, which re does really suck. Um, so that, yeah, no, I, know, I know that's really going to kind of like throw people off, but um, just depending on if you're playing it on PC or Xbox or PS4, it just really depends. I also don't like that they already seemed like they didn't really learn a lot from their DLC kind of plan from the first game, because the same day they like did their whole live stream and trailer and put it up for pre-order, they already showed like different editions you could get, which other games do, but they already showed like the different, uh, they have two expansion passes just like the first game. So it does kind of seem like they're just retreading stuff, but hopefully they won't do like what they did in the first game, where they just repackage, kind of cut content, and just sell it again, because that was really horrible, and I just waited to buy Taken King, and even after that you still had to go buy Rise of Iron, so hopefully we don't have to deal with that again. I am looking forward to Destiny 2, I'm not completely sold on it, especially with the DLC aspects, but if you're not completely convinced, then you should probably wait till all the DLC comes packaged, and then play it. If you are really into it, then yeah, probably pick it up in September, I do have a feeling I may pick it up. But like I said, the beta was fun. Tell me what you guys think of the beta down in the comments below, and thanks for watching Majestic Gaming.